Hello, my name is Fred Mitchell, and I'm an atheist. In fact, I've been an atheist for a very long time. I've had many, many years, a few decades actually, to consider the question of whether deities exist or not. And I am responding to the video of the individual who created the atheist most feared question. Now, first of all, most feared question? Really? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I have dealt with this very same question over the decades, my friend. And what you're bringing up is nothing new. It's the same old tired out, rehashed uh, rhetoric that you Christians always dish out, and even though it's been debunked time and again, not only by myself, but many, many others, you keep bringing up the same old tired out, worn out approaches. Why? Why do you keep resorting to the same things that have already been debunked? All right. Well, okay. I'm going to do this this time because I've never done this in a video format before. There's been many discussions on Usenet, on Facebook, and listservs and various other forums over the decades. I have never actually done an actual video. So, I will address three points in your video. Now, the first point is about what you're calling evidence. Okay, let's get something straight here. If it's actual valid evidence, hard hitting, solid evidence, then it has to be accepted. It has to be accepted by me and any other person of reason, okay? Because it's solid evidence, all right? You have solid evidence that your particular type of God exists, then it should be evidence that anybody and everybody can take out, examine, and will be compelled to accept it, okay? That's the only evidence that matters. Now, you're claiming that, oh, well, I have evidence, but you guys might not accept it. That is such a cop-out. Let's be serious here. All right. Now that we've gotten that out of the, issue, out of the way, I'm going to address another point that you've made. Okay. Now, you are committing a fallacy when you claim that lack of belief is a belief, okay? Uh, we call that, in the debating circles, a straw man argument. In other words, you can't win on the basis of atheism being a lack of belief, so you have to try to rephrase the question in such a fashion that you can more easily deal with it. That's the straw man. I'm going to call you out on that right now by this type of reasoning. Okay. What about all the other gods out there? What about Zeus? What about Vishnu? What about Fahala? What about Ra? Do you believe in any of those? Okay, now, if what you're saying is valid, then that puts the onus on you to prove that those gods don't exist. If you're claiming they don't exist. Okay, and if Vishnu and Valhalla and Ra and Zeus and Penelope and all those other gods, if you're, you know, claiming that they also exist, then I think that might have an issue with your Christianity, which tends to believe in this thing of the one true God, okay? So, you've got a bit of cognitive dissonance to deal with, because either you have to go by your own standards and prove that all these other thousands of gods out there from all these other religions don't exist, or... You have to accept that your God requires proof as well, okay? 
And if you don't believe any of those other gods, why should I believe your God? All right? Now, like I said, I've had this argument time and again in the past many hundreds of times. And it just gets tiring to have to rehash the same old, same old. Can't you Christians come up with some new approaches that would actually be fun and challenging for an old hat like me to engage in? Or are you uh, relying on the ignorance of new people coming on the scene who haven't had the benefit of hearing all of these questions you're bringing up being debunked and rebutted um, in various different forms all over the place, okay? So, once again, you're relying on ignorance, okay, of your audience, all right? And if you have to rely on ignorance to make your point, I need not say any more. That in and of itself speaks volumes. Volumes, my friend. So, that is where I leave it. Now, I am going to pontificate on this, well, discuss this even more um, now that I'm talking. In for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. 